What's up, guys? Rexa34 back with another 15,000... Well, I guess it's not another. This is the 15,000 subscriber special. The first time we've actually hit 15,000 subscribers. So I wanted to go ahead and thank you guys for subscribing, being with me on the channel for the last few months, even a year, some of you guys. It's been pretty awesome. It's been pretty fun. We have opened up Champion Pack before, but this is Champion Pack 3. We've never opened that up. We've opened up Champion Pack 2. We've opened up Champion Pack 4. And for the 10 or the 20,000 subscriber special, we'll be opening up Champion Pack 1 Heavy Packs. So here are seven Champion Pack 1 Heavy Packs. These contain some of the most valuable Champion Pack cards ever printed. Probably all of the most valuable because this set is crazy. We will also be opening up five first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon Blister Packs. It's going to be pretty insane. We're hoping to pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that's going to be pretty crazy. Make sure you guys subscribe for that. That will be at 20,000. But right now, we're at 15,000. And we're going to be opening up 10 Champion Pack 3 Heavy Packs. These, this set contains a Spirit Reaper Super Rare. It contains Gravekeeper Spy Secret Rare. Um, what are the other ones? It has uh, Dark World Lightning Secret Rare. I think Magicians Unite is the Ultra Rare, which is a really awesome artwork. So hopefully we'll see all those cards in this video. That's what I'm hoping. It's going to be pretty awesome. Also, I have some OTS1, another chance at the ultimate rare. I always want to say Stratos, Dark Law. So that's going to be pretty awesome. That card's extremely expensive. In the back, we have Dark Legends Blister. I actually bought these champion packs from PokeRev. You guys have heard of him. You've seen him before. He sent us some stuff before. He threw that in for free. He also threw in a tin for free. And he even threw in something for Chelsea, which was pretty funny. Maybe I'll tack it on to the end of the video. I'm not sure yet because we had her open up some stuff. It was pretty cool. So let's get into this video. The giveaway for the 15,000 subscriber special. We have a few hollows. We have a Magic Cylinder Super Rare. We have a Griffin Wing. This one's from Starter Deck Pegasus. A Multiple Piece Golem from the Duels Genesis. And a Sly for the Sky Dragon from Yugi's Legendary Decks. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments what is your favorite card from Champion Pack 3. There are some pretty awesome ones, so let's get into it. First pack we're going to open up is an OTS 1 pack. Obviously, we can pull the Dark Law, as I said. Oh, whoops. They're at the front. I forgot. But you can also pull a Ultimate... No. Yeah, Ultimate Rare Vanity's Fiend. So that's a pretty cool card as well. So the first card is a Performal Foul. Performal Pal Guitar Turtle. I think the commons in here, I think you can pull a Lure of Darkness and this $10 Skull Zombie guy, which is pretty crazy. So that's pretty cool. There we go. I actually have grabbed some better sleeves for you guys because a lot of you guys are like man i really don't like when you use uh i don't like when you use um penny sleeves but uh, the thing is penny sleeves just don't damage the card on the way in which is what i'm always worried about okay we're gonna do one heavy pack i think and then we'll hit up that dark legends uh blister back later dark legends is a, a pretty rare set it's not crazy valuable for the cards you can pull but the actual packs are pretty hard oh right off the bat ultra rare magicians unite this thing has some pretty poor centering but check out that epic artwork. Magicians Unite. Okay, here we go. We're going to pull out the epic Dragon Shield Sleeves. Okay, wait. It says something on it. There we go. All right, here we go. We're not using penny sleeves, guys. So go ahead and give me a round of applause in the comments. Go ahead and like the video for this. We used a Dragon Shield Sleeve. There we go. Magicians Unite. Epic Ultra Rare. The only Ultra Rare in the set. So that is really cool. We started off hot. With an epic, we'll go. We'll go over what we got at the end. I'm not gonna put everything in the camera shot. Okay, so we got Kaiba Man and Necro Valley in the rest of the pack. So we gotta do. We gotta do the pack trick. We gotta open it backwards. It's the only way we can do this. Okay, we're obviously hoping to pull. Oh wait, we gotta do it like this, don't we? A Dark Law. I say we gotta do the pack trick, and then I forget immediately. So here we go. Ultimate Rare Dark Law. Mizuki, Summoning Chase, and Imperial Iron Wall. Not a bad card right there. Super rare. We'll sleeve it up with Penny Sleeve because it's a cheaper card. All right, next pack. Let's go into another champion pack. I think after this one, we're going to open up the Dark Legends Blister. See if we can pull something epic. Oh, I ruined it already. Wait, I'll cover it up for you guys. And so you guys will not be have it ruined. Here we go. There's only three cards, but still. We got a Fairy Dragon. It's a pretty cool looking card. Grave Huber's Chief. Oh, we have a Magic card. And a Dark World Lightning. So here is another really cool card. This really, it's way off center. It reminds me of the Duel Links days when Dark Worlds were never that really that good when I was playing them. But I always wanted to play the deck. It was pretty fun. 
So we're going to sleeve this up dragon shield style. But here's the thing. See why I use penny sleeves. You got to be really careful because the corners can get dinged when putting them in a nice sleeve like this because it's a lot more solid. So you got to be really careful there. Okay. Let's open up this Dark Legends Blizzard sent to us by the man himself, Pokey Rev. Just threw it in. I mean, just check out this blister. It's really cool. So really awesome of him to do that. Let's see what we can pull. Can we pull something epic in honor of this free gift he sent us? Speaking of, um, I have a couple of mail packages from you guys that I'm going to do another fan mail video, and I, it's going to be pretty cool. There's some good stuff. And I wanted to remind you guys, if you do want to send me something for fan mail, it can be, it can be packs, it can be whatever it doesn't have to it can be like a custom card it can be you know whatever you want to send as long as it's you know appropriate not something that i can't put on camera or something like that anything else you can put down here this promo looks like it got a little bent but that is pretty common with these so anything you want to do for fan mail feel free to send that in and it will be pretty awesome and a lot of fun and yeah let's get into these dark legends we have two packs so we're going to open up one pack and then we'll kind of mix it in with the others so we're not doing too much of the same thing in a row so here we go this is a pretty thick pack there's a lot of cards in here heo zen ru flying kamikiri number one la jin mystical genie of the lamp toon summon skull mahavilo umiruka red eyes black dragon that's a rare Oh, check that out. That's pretty cool. A rare red eyes. A common left arm of the forbidden one. Look at that. A right arm of the forbidden one. Back to back. That is insane. So we got red eyes and two pieces of Exodia. If this was an LOB box, that'd be insane. <laughs> Man, you're about to Oh this? my god. This is almost the perfect pack. We got a right leg. Oh my goodness. We got almost the full Exodia limb set in one pack. That is insane. So that's a really good, a really good pack. That is really awesome. Okay, let's set those aside. Maybe in this last pack, we'll pull an Exodia head and the, what do we need? The right leg? Is that what we're missing? The left leg. The left leg. That'd be awesome. All right, we're going to sleeve up this red eyes, even though it is a, a rare. It's not anything crazy. We're going to set it over there. We're going to put these Exodia limbs, because there are three of them, we'll put them in one sleeve. Put them over there. Okay, now let's go into, let's go OTS1, and let's see if we can pull Dark Law. We have, we have only pulled Dark Law from this set, so I, any other ultimate would be great as well, because I've pulled Dark Law, but I haven't pulled anything else. So it'd be cool to pull, like, a, you know, a Vanity's Ruler or something like that. Or, or Fiend, sorry. Monster Gate. And a Droll and Lockbird. See, that's a really good super rare. That's like $10. Very good card. Has been printed a few times, but still holds value, because it's a really strong meta card. Or, I, I, should, I say really strong. It It's used, I should say. I don't, I don't know if it's really strong. Okay, let's go back to Champion Pack. Let's not ruin it this time. Let's do a... Hopefully, we can pull a Spirit Reaper or a Gravekeeper Spy. Those are the two most expensive super rares. Well, cards in general, but also super rares. Okay, here we go. Let's not ruin anything. We've got a Feather of the Phoenix. Wild Nature's Release. That's from IOC. And a Snipe Hunter. That was the other one I didn't mention. A really cool Snipe Hunter. The centering is a little bit better on this one. Still not great, but definitely not too good. Okay. Here we go. Got to be really careful with these Dragon Shield Epic Sleeves. Yes, yeah, so that collection I bought, the guy had all those extra Dragon Shield Sleeves. And now I'm addicted, guys. It's bad. I'm double sleeping like he was. Like, I'm pulling out these ones and I'm putting them in there. Yeah, it's it's an, it's an addiction. And I blame, I blame him for selling me that collection with all this. <laughs> but it's pretty awesome. So let's get into this last Dark Legends pack. Can we pull the left leg of Exodia? Can we pull an Exodia head? That would be insane, actually. Okay. Mother Grizzly. Shining Angel. We get an upstart goblin. These are treating us right. That's a nice $1 card. Sonic Bird. Toon World. UFO Turtle. Kazijin. Okay, so no Exodia head. Flame Swordsman. Hain Hain. Juraguma. Left leg. We got them all in Harvey Lady Sisters. We got all of Exodia. Okay, let's pull them out. We got all of Exodia. That is crazy, except the head. Two packs, and we got the entire Exodia set. That's actually insane that that happened. Three in one pack, one in the other. That was the perfect blister. The only thing that could have made it better was pulling the Exodia head. So that was pretty cool. So thanks again, PokeRev, for sending us those packs. That was awesome. Upstart Goblin. That was a nice pull. That's always worth like a dollar, no matter what set it's from. 
Okay, back to champion pack three. Another heavy pack. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Can it be something epic? Can we pull... Uh, what do we want again? Spirit Reaper and Grave Reaper's Buy? Oh, let's do it like this so we don't ruin it. Feather of the Phoenix. BES Crystal Core. And a Gravekeeper Spy. This one is the most valuable card in the set, according to TCG Player. Um, it, the centering is not horrible on this one. This one might actually have a chance to be graded. Okay, let's check the rest of it. It looks pretty good. There's that little dimple right in the middle. A little bit of something, but... Oh, there's a print line way down there. It is on the back, though. I've seen those escape. But let's sleeve it up. Our Dragon Shield sleeve. Let's get up. make sure there's nothing on here. We don't want to get anything on the card. There we go. Gravekeeper Spy. Super rare. Really awesome card. That is a pretty sweet pull. So, so far we've pulled everything except for the Spirit Reaper, which I actually do own one in mod play condition that I have in my goat deck. I bought it a while back. Now, here we go. Let's see if we can pull an epic ultimate rare. Advanced Zone. Mage Power. Ooh, a Dynaster Power, the Mighty Draco Slayer. That is a super rare. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. And I want to thank you guys again for 15,000. Oh, there's a nice Pokemon coin. Uh, I want to thank you guys again for 15,000. It's really awesome. It means a lot. And it's we're getting close to 20, which is insane. And that means we're going to open those LOB packs. And guys, I want to open more LOB first edition so much. Since that LOB box that a lot of you guys saw my channel originally on, I've been wanting to open more since, but it's just crazy expensive. Thankfully, I was able to pick up a couple of blisters. I mean, it was still expensive, but I was able to get some blisters. And I do know for a fact that you can pull hollows because I've seen someone out of the same lot pull a hollow. So it's pretty cool. Here we go. BES Crystal Core. Contract of the Abyss. And a Spirit Reaper. Check out that centering. Not the best, but that's okay. Either way, even if we can, I can't grade these, it'll be really awesome to have in my binder with my tournament pack cards. And by the way, I will be sh I will be showing you guys my binder, but I have two binders now. I have tournament pack binder, and then I just have everything else binder. So I'll probably show you both of them. And I will be including these. So this is pretty cool. Spirit Reaper. So we've pulled all of the foils in the set so far, which is really cool. So we've got the four super rares. We've got the Snipe Hunter, the Gravekeeper Spy, Spirit Reaper, Dark World Lightning, and Magicians Unite Ultra Rare, which is pretty awesome. I mean, that's a lot. So the two champion pack boxes I've opened. The, the champion pack two had two of every foil, which is cool. But then the champion pack four, if you guys remember, check that out up in the eye. It had no bottomless trap holes, which is crazy. Oh, guys, we got something. We got an ultimate rare. What is it? Masked Hero Dark Law Ultimate Rare. Oh, my goodness. Yes, and these are not like heavy packs or anything, because one, you can't scale out ultimates, and two, uh, I just picked them randomly out of the packs I have. So that, we've pulled two ultimates out of uh, OCS1, and we've gotten two Dark Laws. Check out the centering on this guy. Oh wait, why are we putting in Penny Sleeve? You guys are right, I know, we should not put in Penny Sleeve. Check that out. Oh, it's got a little bit of a print line. So maybe, I did submit the other one to PSA, guys, so you guys will see that PSA return video whenever PSA... Finally grade stuff. Oh, wait, I need to show you guys that a little bit more. Masked Hero Dark Law Ultimate Rare. There are some print lines. Probably not one I should grade. I should probably just put that one in the binder. Whew, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, so we have six packs left. We're taking this one a little bit more slowly because these are really expensive packs. Really expensive cards you can pull. So I want to make it... I want to make sure that it's not, you know, sped through. We don't want to rush. And enjoy the 15,000 subscriber special. Here we go. This is kind of what we'll do in the 20,000, except we'll probably have a little bit more packs because it's 20,000. Okay, we got a Fairy Dragon. A Necro Valley. Okay, let's see what we're going to get now. We get a Dark World Lightning, number two. So I'm wondering if we're going to get two of every foil again. I would not be opposed to that at all. That would be fantastic because that's two cards. The centering on these... Okay, this one's much better. The centering is much better. It's not fantastic. The corners are cut a little oddly. You see down there, they're not completely normal. But still, I'll take that. Okay, we got four packs left. Let's save the last OTS for after this pack. All right, let's see. Can we get another, um, what is it called? Magicians Unite. Here we go. The Feather of the Phoenix. Chiron the Mage. 
And another Snipe Hunter. There we go. That is a really nice one. The centering is not horrible. But it's not great. Okay, here we go. Put this in the sleeve. The sleeve, you got to be really careful. Okay. It does feel nice having them in these secure sleeves, though. Especially if they're going into my binder. I don't have to pull them back out. Okay, let's go with the last OTS pack. Then we have three more packs to finish up this video. A so far, an epic video. Some really nice pulls. Can't ask for more than this out of OTS 1 and Champion Pack 1. Okay, here we go. The White Stone of Legend. Advanced Zone. Infernoid Patrulia. Super rare. So that is not an ultimate, but that's okay. We did get one out of six packs, which is better than ratio. Usually they're about one in 17 packs. Okay. Finally, three more packs of Champion Pack 2. Or three, sorry. We have opened up Champion Pack 2 before. Make sure you check that out. My, that was a successful opening. You guys can see that went well. We got our Magician of Faith graded and got a PSA 10. One of them did at least. One of them I kept in the binder because it was a little bit off center. Oh no! Oh no! We've got damage, guys. We've got damage. Okay, here we go. Which one is it? Gravekeeper Spy. Oh no! no. Not only is it. It's not off center. What well, is off center? Not only is it that, it is straight damage. So this one's definitely binder copy. Oh, you hate to see that. You hate to see it. Fortunately, it hasn't happened on much of them. But of course, it would be the most expensive card in the set. It couldn't have been on, you know, Dark World Lightning, which is only 20 bucks. Whew, that hurts. At least it looks good in the sleeve, okay? We got to keep it positive, guys. Can't always win everything. Can't win everything. Oh, it hurts a little bit. Okay, it hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. We gotta keep it positive. Here we go. Two more packs. Maybe we will have okay. The back of this one. Okay, no damage, it seems. Thank goodness. Alright. Fairy Dragon. Wild Nature's release. And a Magicians Unite. Another ultra rare. This is a pretty cool one. Check out that corner. That corner is a little bit something. I don't think it's maybe it's not maybe it just looks a little weird we got some print lines but that's okay this is still a really nice card get these into the sleeve magicians unite this is one of my favorite cards from the set i just love how it looks i think the the darker spell cards from back in the day they just ooh, they look nice okay final pack if i'm guessing i'm guessing that it's going to be a spirit reaper based on what we've pulled already we keep pulling the same stuff let's try not to ruin it there we go I'm going to guess Spirit Reaper. We'll see. Hopefully, it's not damaged. Okay. Doesn't look to be... Oh, wait. No, it's this card. Sorry. Okay. This card looks all right. All right. Here we go. Last pack for the 15K special. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like the video. Share it if you can. And leave a comment for the giveaway. And just for support. I appreciate it. I love to read you guys' comments. Kyra on the Mage. Hopefully, we can have some good luck. Hit the like button for luck. Wild Nature's Release. And a Spirit Reaper. Good. Okay. I'm glad that this one was a double copy and it was not damaged. <sighs> so sad. Okay. Let's check it out. The centering, definitely not too good on it. So most of these, not many of these are going to be gradable. Oh, we got some on there. Okay. We got some on that sleeve. We definitely don't want to put it in a dirty sleeve. And by dirty, I mean like anything in there at all. It just bothers me. I was very OCD about it. Especially with expensive mint cards. So you got to be... I don't want anything to get messed up. So there we go. Spirit Reaper. Let's go for what we got. So for our supers and stuff like that, rares, commons, we got Petrulia, Upstart Goblin. We got the whole set of Exodia. That was crazy. Droll and Lockbird Super. That's the best super you can pull. Red Eyes Black Dragon Rare. Gores. A little bit bent, but still cool. Imperial Iron Wall and a Guitar Turtle. So that was all. Wait, check the centering on this dude. He's hor it's way bad. Not that not where we're going to grade that card anyway, but... Here's what we got from the big packs. We got a Spirit Reaper. Awesome. Magicians Unite Ultra Rare. We got a Gravekeeper Spy. This is the damage one. Unfortunately, it was damaged. The most expensive card in the set came out damaged. Snipe Hunter. We got a Dark World Lightning. We got a an Ultimate Rare. Well, why am I saying an? An Ultimate Rare Masked Hero Dark Law. That is insane. That is the most expensive card in the opening, which is hilarious because we're opening up nope. Champion Pack and that's more expensive. Then we got another Spirit Reaper. Super awesome. We got another Grave Hero Spy. Not Bent. Awesome. <laughs> Snipe Hunter. Dark World Lightning. And another Magicians Unite. This is definitely... These gotta be my favorite cards. Those are awesome. 
and you can't really slight that guy. That guy is pretty awesome as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was a lot of fun, even though we had a bent card, but that's okay. I'm not mad about it. I'm not salty. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe for the 20K opening. It's going to be pretty awesome. And yeah, thank you guys for supporting me up to 15,000 subscribers. Really, really like to see you guys in the comments supporting me, you know, uh, following me on Twitter, Instagram, all the people that I talk to there. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh.